Hello, Sarah here from smallbusinesssarah.com and today I'm going to walk you through what to do if you're missing some transactions that should have been brought into your bank feed here in QuickBooks Online. Um, we're going to be working in Simple Start, but this would be the same process for higher levels of QuickBooks Online as well. Um, when what to do when you're missing some transactions that should be in your bank feed but are not. Um, if this video is helpful, I would appreciate your like and subscribe. So let's get started. So in this case, we had like a temporary electronic glitch with the credit card and transactions that should have been brought in um, were not over the course of three or four days. So um, we discovered this when the reconciliations were not working when we tried to reconcile the credit card account. Um, and so now we got we need to review the statement from the credit card company and then add in any missing transactions. Um, so first I'm gonna right here I'm on the banking tab. I'm on the credit card where we have the problem. I'm gonna hit go to bank register. And we could also change what register we're looking at as well up here um, if we want to, but we do want the credit card register. And if you come to the time period of around July 15th, you'll see that we don't have any expenses, any charges in here from the 15th, 16th, 17th, or 18th. So we're going to take a look at the CSV file from the credit card. You could also look at your credit card statement for this information as well. So we're going to pull this up and lo and behold there was activity um, on the 15th, 16th, 17th, and 18th um, and that never made it into QuickBooks because we had a error with our uh, connection with the credit card. So we're just going to, I'm going to show you just how to do those first two transactions, Best Buy and then Amazon. So the date is 7-15-422-94. And I'm going to jot that down so I don't forget. And the Amazon is 24-25. And they're both on 7-15. So back to QuickBooks. Um, and you'll notice they're not here. And I should have probably pointed out on the banking tab um, in the for review section, they were not there as well either. So they were they were completely missing. So we're just going to go to this plus sign. Then we're going to go to add an expense. Um, and let's see, the first one was Best Buy. So we're just going to add that in. Best Buy. And here is where it's really important that you select the right account. If this expense is missing from your credit card, select your credit card account. If this expense is missing from your bank statement, then add your bank statement. Select your bank statement here. If it's PayPal, select PayPal. So make sure you select the right payment account for this expense. That's really important. It's also really important to get the date correct. So we're going to do 715. Um, you then you select the category, and she does um, purchase equipment from Best Buy. So we're going to keep that as equipment. QuickBooks has automatically filled that in for us. But if we wanted something different, we can just come down here and select a different expense account, whatever is applicable. And the amount this time was four twenty two ninety four. There we go. And I'm going to actually, instead of saving close, I'm actually going to do save and new because I'm going to do the Amazon as well. So now we're going to pay Amazon or add in the expense to Amazon. We have the correct payment account. We're missing it from our visa. And QuickBooks is keeping us on the same date we were before. Um, we want 7.15. Um, Amazon, from Amazon, she buys shipping supplies and materials. We could change that here if we wanted to. If everything looks correct, we're going to change the amount. 24.25. Click away. It updates. And now we'll hit save and close. We'll get out of this expense tab. 
All right, so now let's scroll down in our Vista register to 715. And now those transactions are properly included. So I would just keep going through this list. So this is from the credit card company and it shows all the transactions in date order and we were missing this big chunk right in here. So then what I would do is I would just keep going through in order the same way I did, adding all those missing expenses, and then we'll have better luck reconciling once all of our information is actually in QuickBooks like it should be. Um, I wanted to point out too, if you were missing a deposit, new, and then deposits are over here, bank deposit. Same thing, just make sure you um, select the right account that you're missing the deposit from. If you're missing it from checking, if you're missing it um, from PayPal, make sure you select the correct account up here. Make sure you select the right date. And then down here, you can add received from if you need to add a specific client. And then here, include what type of revenue account it should be associated with. Um, and then you'll just save that as usual. So same process as the expense. The important thing is making sure you have the right account and the right date. Otherwise, you'll really throw yourself off. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you have any sort of a electronic glitch with your QuickBooks account and you need to add in some transactions manually, that is how you would do it. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.